Hi everybody, I'm Haley, and welcome to this episode of Style Watch. If you haven't watched before, there are three things you should know about me. One, I'm an American living in Germany. Two, I'm completely obsessed with clothes and fashion. And three, I'm getting to travel all around Europe to explore the biggest fashion capitals of the continent. And this time, I'm exploring perhaps the most famous of those European fashion capitals. So I'm here in Paris, France to figure out how to get that cool French girl look for myself. So when I think of French girl style, I immediately come to this girl who's kind of chic and effortless, but without having to try very hard. Maybe she put on some jeans in the morning, maybe she threw on some cool shoes and a jacket and even a t-shirt, but somehow she looks totally put together and I want to see if I can do that for myself or if it's something only for the French to do. So I'm meeting with French fashion journalist and Paris it girl, Sabina Sokol. Just type in French girl style and Sabina is all over. Seriously, try it. With her name under headlines like the items French girls never wear on an airplane and her over 300,000 Instagram followers keeping up with her daily style inspo, I knew she would be the perfect person to help me out. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you so much for inviting us to Paris. Of it's really course. nice to be here. Yes, so nice. <laughs> so I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what Parisian style really is. First of all, I feel like there's a certain image uh, that's portrayed about Parisian style abroad. Okay. That's not necessarily the truth about how Parisian women really dress. Right, like the berets. <laughs> Not everyone dressed the same, but if, if I had to describe the cliché Parisian dressing, which right. exists as well, sure. it's uh, very um, sophisticated, elegant, um, but also laid back. So how would you describe your style? Is it typically Parisian or is it kind of like a form of that? It's obviously uh, very influenced by, by Parisian and uh, French style, um, but I try to also have my own uh, influences and my, my that, I, that, that come a lot from pop culture actually. Okay. And uh, like for example, what, what kind of pop culture? Uh, from from shows like Friends, okay. like um, Ali McBeal, and yeah. shows that from the 90s that I kind of grew up with. Right. Um, and I'm very very into vintage, so I mix all of that. And uh, but of course, it's also uh, very Parisian inspired. This vintage car. Yeah. Can you explain to me a little bit about what you're wearing today? First of all, I'm wearing high heels. I'm very often in high heels, uh, especially when I wear this kind of pants. They make me look uh, slightly taller. Okay. <laughs> uh, the pants are very 70s. Uh, yes. They are super high-waisted. They're so great. I love a high-waisted pant. Yes. It's so much nicer. They are super high-waisted and they are corduroy, so um, very typically 70s. And uh, the jacket uh, is the pièce de résistance. <laughs> I love it. It's uh, reversible, actually. Ah, cool. Uh, but I really love the big stitching. It's not vintage, but it has a very vintage vibe. It looks vibe. totally vintage. I wouldn't know it. And it looks, it goes well with the pants <laughs> as well. Since everyone's usually saying that the Parisian style is kind of thrown together, kind of uh, undone chic, <laughs> like, would you say that you also follow these rules of keeping it simple? Uh, I definitely keep it simple. Uh, I definitely like when it doesn't look too done. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel it, like it's more really elegant like that, but it's uh, calculated. It's not just thrown together. I mean, right. in my case, I can't speak for everyone. Of course. How can people avoid looking overdone? What's your advice for that? Not too many information. Not too many colors or not too many accessories or not too much hair and makeup. Just like maybe pick a side, choose something and uh, do the rest be uh, laid back. Good to know. <laughs> Either way. Um, what's the one piece that every French girl absolutely must have in her closet right now? Uh, just like an oversized men's coat, like gray or brown or a neutral tone okay. that you can wear with everything. Okay. But cool. I can show you, it's easier. Yes. Oh, should we? Should yeah. we go look for one? Totally, let's go. Oh, great. Let's go shopping. Perfect. <laughs> So 
what are your kind of tips when uh, vintage shopping in general? I like really statement classical pieces, but okay. um, I don't look for something too specific because when vintage shopping, you're always surprised. Yeah. So this is also the nice part. Just like I feel the piece, if I like it, I take it. Yeah, great. That's well, how <laughs> let's see what you feel for me. Oh, that's cool. I'm curious, why would you choose that one? Because it's very classical. Yes. It's uh, gray with a tiny bit of a... Um, I don't know how you say Prince de Galles in English, but... Like um, it's this a pattern, nice wool, no? Yes, and uh, it's extremely chic. <laughs> wow. And it's, and it's actually long enough for my arms. Okay. Right at the natural waist, right? Exactly. Do you feel good? I feel really good, actually. It's, it's super nice. It's the most important. Yeah, that's so true. And I love the shape. It's got this really classic kind of nipped at the waist, uh, keeping the shape of the waist yes. sort of. Extremely chic. Yeah. Uh, also, when you feel Well, I think so. You More turn, like point it down, kind of do opposite like that. It feels like it would be really nice and warm. Green, because I know it works in for you. Yeah. Like, I think that's so. So now I really have to choose. What I'm thinking, like the most I'm gravitating towards is like this heavy velvet one, but it's really because it's closest to my own style, I guess what I'm normally taking. What, what are your thoughts actually? Uh, yes, I agree. I think that this is really nice, obviously, mm -hmm. and you look great, but <laughs> it's a safe choice for you. Yeah, that's um, exactly what you were saying earlier. I should take a risk, right? Yeah, so I would go with this one, the first one you tried. Okay, I also really, I, I liked all of them, so this is yeah, not nice. any kind of punishment for me. But you told me you don't have a coat like that, and no. this is a really classical coat that goes right. with almost, every, almost everything. Right. I think I have to take it. Yes. I really like it. <laughs> wow, such a cool find. Only in Paris, right? Exactly. <laughs> that's really nice. So we're back here with Sabina, and I'm so excited now to have my new jacket. Yes. Could you explain a little bit about why we chose this one? Well, it has a very 70s uh, classical shape. It also has a vintage feel to it, right. which I love. Right. Uh, and uh, mo most of all, it fits you really well. Yeah, so yeah. that's the most important thing. Perfect. If someone's looking for this, but not necessarily in the exact vintage shop, say they're somewhere else outside of Paris, what kind of elements about this jacket can kind of uh, be found elsewhere. This is a style that's come back. I've seen it in many shops actually, the exact same style or uh, pretty much the same one. And um, what I was really hoping, now that I have this, perhaps you can help me figure out a couple outfits with it? Yeah, and don't worry, you will see it goes with everything. Perfect. Great, so I'll just leave it here for some inspiration. We can just kind of have it in here. Um, I've laid out my entire suitcase for you. Yeah. So it's kind of like our little fashion playground here. What I really want to get started with is the day look. I've been walking around Paris so much and I've just seen so many really fashionable girls and I want to know what you would think I should be wearing um, in Paris when I walk around during the day. So I noticed you have this uh, little uh, cashmere mock neck top. Yes, I love and this And I love one. the color. And I think it's going to be perfect for uh, the coat and it's very like, it has fall vibes. Okay. So it's perfect. Yes, totally. Uh, and you can pair that with a pair of black pants. These are some like wide leg, um, high-waisted pants. So, so perfect that could work, for right? the 70s vibes of the coat. Yes, I think so too. And uh, definitely tuck the, tuck the top inside the pants. Okay. So I think <laughs> it's... Uh, makes a really nice silhouette. It yeah. elongates the leg visually right. uh, when your waist starts here rather than here. It right. looks like you have longer legs. Yeah, definitely. And there you don't need that. <laughs> Which kind of shoes would you pair? I have probably some the here. Boots. Some brown, I have some brown, some black flats, and then the ones I'm wearing are just these white boots. Uh, probably the brown ones. Okay, and is it okay to mix brown and black? Yes, yeah. whatever you feel like. Okay, because when I was younger, my mother always told me never to mix brown and black, so I wasn't sure if it was a big deal. <laughs> I do that. I do it all the time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Honestly, uh, just try it on. If you don't like, we can we can switch. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, I really like that. I feel like I'm kind of like 
I don't know, the first female cop at the station in the 70s or something. Would you see other girls walking around Paris looking like this? Yes. Yeah? It's yes. quite common? Absolutely. In a good way. No? I wouldn't say common, I would just say it's a classic look. So now that I've been out walking around all day in my fabulous new day outfit, I'm thinking that I want to see what Paris has to offer by night. I want to find a nice little thing to wear underneath that beautiful coat that right. you have. And uh, since it's uh, kind of vintage inspired, it's vintage, but it also has a vintage uh, shape. I would love to see you with a little black dress underneath. Okay. Do you have one? Yeah, actually I do, so I can I can pair that. It's right here. Oh, perfect. This one. It has kind of like um, bell sleeves. I hope that's okay. Like yes, uh, it's water perfect. sleeves, and it's like a, a short sweater dress. dress uh, that's it's what I had in mind. Right. Um, and with a pair of black tights. Yes, I also have black tights. That'll work. And to make it. Uh, 60s, uh, very sexy, but like still ingenue. Right. I would definitely wear it with the ballerinas. Okay, yeah. These ones right here, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So it looks really nice when it's open like that as well, okay. like maybe a little bit more relaxed. Right, okay. And uh, I would love to see it with the waistband because okay. it would look like the coat is a dress in itself. Oh yeah, definitely. So you close it first. Yeah. And then tie it at the natural waist. Yes. Like that. Yeah. So it depends. You can have like two looks in one with this. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Cute. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's kind of like a bonus dress in yeah. some way. Great. So and I could wear this out to a restaurant, but oh, you think yes. it would also function for like a club or like going dancing in Paris? Absolutely. But what if I'm really trying to stick to the whole vintage vibe? What if I want to play up the vintage in the next outfit? Well, I, I noticed that you have this little top and I would definitely pick this one because it's ribbed. Okay. And it seems uh, well fitted on the body. And right. this is uh, typically 70s uh, okay. kind of tops, which I also wear a lot in love. Okay. And I would definitely wear it with a pair of high-waisted jeans. Yeah, perfect. These are just kind of like a light wash, high-waisted, distressed bottoms. Perfect. So, yeah, great. It's super vintage. And to emphasize this even more, I would like to see this as a belt. As a belt. OK, that's really cool, actually, yeah. because I've never used that as a belt before. That looks so cool. But it does look cool. I would have never thought to do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. You'd pull them up yeah, like... Yeah, the look is a bit more laid back and... Uh, yeah, that's so cool. Relaxed. This is so Parisian. Yeah, like, is I, it? Yes. What like, makes it super Parisian? I don't know, like the most girls are wearing this type of outfits. Really? I don't like to generalize, but... <laughs> yeah, of course. But I have to admit. And I can tell that you feel good and it makes me happy. Yes, I can't stop smiling. I'm really <laughs> excited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Style Watch with me in Paris. I hope that you were inspired to try a little bit of French girl style for yourself. Make sure to tell me in the comments which of the outfits you like the best, and to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you want to see more European fashion. Au revoir!